So today we're working on another type of forehand and it's called the buggy, the buggy whip. And it's usually a forehand used to get extra spin. Either you're late or you're really in trouble. And what it does, it gives you extra height. So instead of going over to the left side of your body, for the righties, you're gonna be staying on the right side of your body. Rafael Nadal uses it more often than not, but he has such tremendous racket speed and buggy whip that his ball jumps and keeps his opponents really far back. Let's try three. Good. So that racket, you'll see it, it stays on this side of the body instead of coming across. What I'm thinking about is I'm really thinking about up. I really want to exaggerate my spin and the ball going up. I'm on the run buggy here. I roll it nice and high to the backhand. So the buggy is used to spin, push them back, maybe find their backhand, and then look to flatten out the next ball. So when we do this buggy whip, we're really thinking high and deep, put the spin on it, get the buggy, and get that depth. If you notice, here we go. So in talking about the grip, you want to be semi-western or full western. Those are more, it's easier to do because your racket is so closed and you need some more up. Sometimes if you go through it, that racket stays closed and you miss net. The buggy really helps you to get it up when you're here and gets extra spin on that. Good feed, and there's good roller. Good buggy here. So now Julie's gonna try four buggies here, no matter where I feed it. Buggy, good, recover. Come on, get there, come on. Yes, great height and depth, hit that target, way up. Good, add more spin so it dips, flick. There it is, time's up, I like that last one. Thank you so much for watching the video and please remember to subscribe and ring the bell. And my promise to you is if you watch all of these one minute clinics, you will win Wimbledon. I promise. Well, maybe. Let's see what this is. This is going to be, I'm buggy and I'm late. Good. Here comes the ball. Hey!